Ladies and gents, we are back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. We're still only like 27% through to the story, which is to me just so freaking amazing. We're going to do a little chores today. I feel like I love the fact that um, the game gives you an opportunity to do some chores. I guess we're going to find out where we need to take it over here. Oh, it must be uh, for sure eating. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out where... Okay, right here. Nice. Nice. I feel a little better. All right, so we've got a few missions set up. We're going to go ahead and do those. What, you a lawman now or something? That's right, we are. We got the deputy badge now. All right, so we've got whatever this one is. Molly O'Shea. Yes, Mr. O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information, but it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Hey! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. 
There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Get back here! Hold it right there! Ah! Your goddamn weapon! Right now! There's a whole lot of them back there! Light a shot, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. Guess the dogs are onto us. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I 
heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Oh, what an idiot. Give him hell, boys! We were so gone, man. Come on. You know you're gonna die, right? Watch it, Charles. Looks like Mr. Coyle's got an empty security. We got more of the bastards on this side. I don't like this shotgun. Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army too. Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? Ah! You got us into this. Okay, I don't know how that is. I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right. God damn it! They're coming in this way now. Hurry up, Nook. I can't get the one behind him. Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. They're coming in from the front. Shit. Fire. We lost our hat. Of course we did. Uh, 
are coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Shh. right. We should go give them a hand. I barely got any health left right now, so I gotta get some health. like having the double barrel shotgun and the pistol. We, we got to get a different uh, revolver. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Well, that didn't go according to plan, did it? It was a fun little mission, though. Oh, shit. Is this your work? Nope. Not worth the risk. Oh my god, there's another guy. Always another guy. Oh, they reported the crime. Darn it. Why am I the one that gets in trouble for it? You know what that means, folks. We're gonna have to uh, lose that bounty again, but we're out of the way. Ah! Come on, horse. <laughs> the horse didn't even try to jump over the thing. It usually does. It's automatic. It's not like we have a jump button for the horse. See, it won't even do it. There it goes. See? <laughs> All right, so we're heading out here. We're gonna head to BG as our next mission. Oh, legendary animal location. Load up. Yep. Alright, looks 
looks like something. Got a good head start on me. Did he just disappear or is he still there? Well, it was right there. I know I just saw something right there, but it looks like it's gone. So I have to go right here and do the next clue then. Seem close. Come on, horse. All right, so I know he's right there. Got to have my horse because I need to get my bow. Hard to see. Saw me. Got it. So what we need to do is we need to take specifically we got to go to a fence. Legendary fox. to craft a rare trinket. So we gotta go to the fence to craft the trinket, and then we gotta go to a, um, we've done the moose and we've done the fox so far. Nice and simple.
Luckily, I don't think the fox is too heavy to slow us down too much. That was actually kind of tough, especially since with all the fog, it can it's a little dark to see, but we were able to get it with two shots, so... can't use any weapons or cause yeah. any trouble here therefore we're not even gonna mess with anything <laughs> oh couldn't tell what that was it's really dark It's a lot deeper than I thought it was. Yep. Oh, go. And go. And go. Yep. Oh my gosh. What the heck did we just hit? <laughs> it's so hilarious sometimes. It's like you'll you'll just you'll fall over and you're just like for what reason you know what now I bet that pelt's gonna be all dirty and you can't use it as much although that doesn't make sense because what if the fox rolled around on the ground oh we got out of there just in time I think it was gonna attack us all right at least we're getting some daytime now but man that fog is is really really tough to see Make sure we're heading in the right location here. Yeah, we're heading back down. All right. Um, well, let's see. We can go over to St. Dennis. Uh, there is a fence, and I believe there is also a trapper. So there's the trapper, and where is the fence? Uh, you can tell where this stuff is by clicking down on it and going to fence. And you can see that there's a, there is a fence in roads. And there's also a fence in Emerald Ranch, and there's a fence there. So there's a fence right next to the trapper. So we're going to head over to St. Denise since the trapper is there as well, and that's where we need to go to actually uh, take the stuff. So right now it's too early in the morning, but eventually um, the sun will keep coming up, and then we should be able to do it. Trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on the knees. Unfortunately, I'd love to help out, but I'm just following what he told us, and we can't get into any scraps right now. Morning. Must be really, really, really early morning, so we might have to wait a little bit to turn this in. Boom. I don't know if I've actually brought you here. This is the big, the biggest city in the game that I've seen so far. Even bigger than Blackwater was. This is Saint uh, Denise, but they they call it something else, but I can't pronounce it. San Denis or something like that. This is a very very huge location. Lots of things here. But I don't think I've ever been here in a um, in a video before. Maybe I showed showed it off to you guys once, maybe. But I've I've done it in on Facebook because we've done a lot of uh, exploring and side stuff. This is still right now the outskirts, but there it is. Alright, so uh, let's get on the other side. What's going on with you? You're making it hard for me to move through here, that's what's out of the way! Bastard! You got a problem? You move out of the way, you want one? 
There's this little saloon. All right, here. Let's go ahead and set up hitch and post here. I don't know if it's this that we actually need. I don't think this is going to do us any good. Because that, he just... He pelts. That there's an albino fox, or I'm an American. Rare friend, hell of a catch. Ah, uh, okay. So, so, yeah. So, we can't... Well, maybe... Yeah, so we can sell the carcass, so that's what we're doing right there. We just sold the carcass. Why? How can you afford another day off? Welcome back. Just taking a so, moment's rest. Buying or selling. All right, so now we need to go, and I think that's not really what the big deal is uh, when it comes to this stuff. The big deal is this. But from what it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Maybe I got this wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have sell, sold that there. Hello again. Look out. Let me go over to the fence real quick and see what the fence says. I may have got it backwards. Hey, careful there. Yeah, I think I got it backwards. All right. So we do. I did actually no. I didn't get it backwards. We need to go and uh, sell that. We're supposed to be able to craft. That's right. You craft. You craft from the fence and you sell. I have quite the skills. If you have the right ingredients. Right there. Fox Claw Trinket. So, what does it give us? Let's check out the info. Permanently increases the time that Eagle Eye can stay active for five seconds. Nice. Oh, mais bien sûr. There we go. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. That's all that means, is that we were able to do that and get that trinket. Now we can actually go ahead and sell... Damn wife! The pelt. Should have moved. Look out, mister. Who was with you? Here we go. Now we can sell the pelt Back off here. Soon. Right, let's see. 22 bucks. Once in a lifetime, eh? See how most things are dollar? Not even that. Where that one gives us 22, so that's a good... Good price. Hello. See you again. Okay then, girl. You can just see how, like, very intricate this little town is. Lots of stuff to do here. But we're going to head back. And we've got uh, the next mission here to do. I am sure the story is going to take us over into this area at some point. The a biggest city as this is wouldn't just be here for no reason. So I am pretty sure that there's going to be some story missions that have to do with coming here or figuring something out. So we'll do that obviously a little bit later. But I took you through a little bit of a look-see. Lots of things to do in that 
uh, from the theaters. There's two different theaters. One is an actual theater where you get to watch a show. Um, there's actually a couple of shows uh, that, that happen every time I've went. I've been twice, and there's been they're all different. A total of four different shows I've seen so far, and they're like real shows. One of them was uh, the Catching a Bullet. Another show was um, a, a snake charmer woman, like uh, Dancing with a Snake. Uh, another one was um, uh, Fire Breathing. And another one was like Showgirl Dancing. So, good mixture of shows to see there. You know, Rockstar always puts on good shows. But for right now, we gotta head back over here. Uh, this next mission is, I think, continuing on the love story between Patricia and Bo, I believe. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. That's the thing about these missions, that it's, it's too hard for them not to be fetch quests, you know? Follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a 
protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equals are fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Hey, oh. His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cocky little Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, what? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Not the future. A land of equality. A land. Look That's better. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but I'm kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, Ooh, I saw her. I heard about daughters. <clears throat> I heard about gold. She was actually kind of free. Yankee gold? <laughs> 
I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Hey, 30 bucks. What do you know? All right. Wow, we still only got a freaking bronze? The heck? Complete within four minutes and 15 seconds. I didn't do anything to slow it down. Uh, maybe it's uh, me taking so long to get there because I love to, to show off the cinematic view. And I guess the game really doesn't want you to show off that cinematic view. I mean, if you want to complete things quick enough. All right. So, let's head back home. Back to camp. So, what do you guys think so far? <clears throat> I can already tell you that this is... This is definitely my favorite game of the year. I mean, I just... From the moment it started out, yeah. I, I, I'm invested in the characters. I'm invested even people that I despise, like Bill. You guys remember him from freaking Red Dead Redemption 1. I mean, he's a character that you've come to hate, right? But I'm not seeing the complete hate and the complete awfulness of his character yet. So it's Hold given me... A minute of your time. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Yeah, let's not. Oh, really? <laughs> it's just that we're so close to the town. No problems, no trouble. That is what um, our good man D told us. So we want to make sure that we don't uh, mess any of that up. Oh, they're following. I guess we gotta take them out. What the hell? Hey, they may have been led to camp, but they're not going anywhere else. I thought I could outrun them, but I guess they got on horses like super fast. <clears throat> and I really couldn't. Does it even tell you their names? Does the game have that much detail that all these outlaws here have names too? Hummingbird Sage. Oh no, it just says a Leon Raider. So it doesn't like have uh, specifically like their actual name. Yeah, why not? All right, so I figured that this outfit that we yeah. have on is probably not a good outfit to have when it's this hot. Yeah. The weather's just weird. See, this is this is where it gets weird. Like sometimes it won't let you go down. Like when you try to go. Where's, who's that? I swear I just heard somebody. Like I said, we may have led them in, but of course they're dead, so they ain't telling anybody. Oh, there, well, <laughs> they're magical. Really? 
sure. A sign. It's definitely a sign. A sign of what? No idea yet. No idea. Ain't it a sign, Arthur? A sign you've gone dumb in the head. A skin that thing. Jackie boy, that's the age of reason right there. No room for dreams. Well. Yeah. Oh well. Bye, Mr. Rabbit. <sighs> Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> It's Mr. Pearson's pot for you. The detail and everything that happens here is so good. Beautiful white horse there. So, you're back. Yes, I'm back. I heard they wanted to hang you. <laughs> they wanted you, but Arthur did me right. Of course. Did they ask uh, anything about us? No, it was just a uh, local, local problem. A fella I used to know. All right there, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? I understand, boss. And I'm sorry for being foolish. It was an old thing, and my emotions got the better of me. Thank you. Dutch? I... You boys are my family now. You're welcome. How much thanking does one man need? You owe me. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I don't care. <laughs> Howdy do, Arthur. <laughs> You gonna pass out in your own shit again? Oh, give it a rest, Morgan. You can't help but just be amazed by this game. It's so much fun. All right, so we've got a few missions. We've got an L and an okay. A. So it looks like an Abigail mission to do. Hey, coming up Arthur. Soon. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash. Said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right. So it looks like that led to a Jose mission, so wow. I see how that did that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Again, I'm having a blast playing the game. Uh, again, we will see you on the next premiere video. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Peace out.